Hey gamers, if you like drafting, area control, and Vikings, then you might want to check out Tiny Epic Vikings. Let's see a little bit about how this one plays. In this game, players are trying to score the most points from island runes and runes that they've collected on favor cards. Each turn, players will be drafting cards around the table until they have four, five, or six, depending on what round they are in. And they'll be using those cards to then use them as actions. They can play a card face down to start or join a battle and use this strength number to determine who will win that battle. The winner will get the favor card that was set aside at the beginning of the battle, which will go face down on their player mat until the end of the game where they can score it. And the losers will then be able to uh, trigger one of the gods based on which Rune was on the card that they played and do the Valhalla boon action as a kind of compensation for losing the battle. Or if they don't want to play a card face down for a battle, they can play it face up for the action on there. So they can do things like get different um, resources on their board, build different things out on the board, ships or temples. They can move their ship around the board, move their settlers around the board, etc. depending on what is there. That is an action that is always free on a card. And then there are also actions, rune actions at the bottom of the cards that they can also do if they have already an active rune of the right color. As players are moving around the board and going to different locations, they'll have different settlers on, on places or potentially temples as well. And they will look at influence on islands to know if they can take these island runes again to score points at the end of the game. At the end of the game, after three rounds, players will look at how many strength the gods have on their fury tracks and that will determine how much of the different kinds of runes are worth again they'll look at the ones they've collected from islands and the ones that they've collected from cards they're worth varying amounts of points depending on which god's track is the highest middle and lowest and the player with the most points will win i like that this tiny epic game didn't feel super fiddly despite it being very tiny i do have some issues with other tiny epic games where they feel a lot more fiddly with those tiny components but this felt fine i didn't mind that it was small at all i thought that the game turns were very simple drafting is a pretty simple mechanism but there is some strategy that goes into that at least in the first two rounds the last round sometimes it just feels like you don't really know what you even need to draft because you need something very specific and if you don't see it then you're going to have a hard time. I felt that a lot more in lower player count games than higher because you see not so many cards um, from different hands. But overall, I think that the gameplay is pretty simple. You're just kind of uh, building things out on the board or putting people out on the board, moving around to try and get area control at the different islands in order to score more points. I thought that the battle system was very simple, which I liked. There wasn't a lot of upkeep for those, um, and I liked that you didn't have to enter a battle just because somebody started one. I really enjoyed that because a lot of times if someone starts a battle in other games, you're forced to be part of that, even if that's absolutely not what you want to do in a round. So I did like that, and I did like, too, that if nobody joins the battle, the player doesn't automatically win. They do have to fight um, invaders in order to actually win the battle. So I did like that there was kind of a built-in fell safe for that. So that way, again, they didn't automatically win. Overall, it is a pretty straightforward game, um, but it definitely felt like it left a little bit to be desired. I just kind of wanted to be doing more on my turns. Some turns were very short, just collect resources or just move a ship a couple of spaces, and I didn't feel like I was building up to do something really big on most turns. Um, but if that's the kind of style of game that you like, then you might find it a lot more appealing than I did. But for me, it felt kind of middle of the road. But you can check out my full thoughts on the blog today to decide if this one's for you.